Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today is the continuation of my series of paint videos where I am showing off one paint in the video and letting you know all the ways I could think of of how to use it. I hope you enjoy. This is hardened leather and this Skaven was primed with Vallejo Mecha Primer Ivory. When I first saw this go onto the cream, I decided it was a little too yellow for me for a leather. But then again, this would be less yellow if you put it over a pale grey. So bear that in mind, I just happened to put everything over a cream. I absolutely like the look of this regardless and I actually saw this as great for a wood color and I'm going to show you what I mean later on in this video so stick around with me. But you absolutely can improve basic leather colors with this hardened leather as a superwash. I also saw this as one that could potentially shade golds since it has such a reddish brown shadow and shade reds and it will certainly bring out coppers and bronzes as well so this is good color to have. You could shadow brown hair as well but if you were going to have very pale brown hair, then you would absolutely want to thin this down because as you can see, the shadows of this are starkly different from the raised areas. So you'll need to calm it down if you're gonna have fur or hair from anything that was potentially light in color. The darker the under color, I mean, the more you can leave it alone and let it do its thing. So here it is once it is dried and as you can see it has a wealth of color in its depths. You can age silvers with it too but you will want to re-highlight that silver since it has such a strong color toner or at least mix the hardened leather with speed paint medium to maybe get have a more subtle touch if you're going to apply it over something silver. So here are some various minis that I decided to try this color out on. I've got a silver hound with some leather pouches that were originally colored with XV88 from Citadel. So I just apply that directly onto it and let it dry and it is considerably darker, considerably more reddish toned once dry. Let me know what you think of that. I've got a Seraphon whose sash I colored with leather brown from the Fanatic range. So what I do is I just applied the hardened leather directly over the leather brown sash of his and I let that dry. But for the gold and for the red feathers, I decided to thin down hardened leather with an even mix of hardened leather and speed paint medium and apply that over the gold and the feathers. And when it's dry, you can either leave it as is if that's what you like or like for the feathers, I decided to re-brighten it up with the carmine that I originally used. That's um, from Vallejo's Premium Airbrush line. And then a little bit of this highlight red color to accentuate it back. I've also got an ale barrow that I primed with Wraithbone. Because like I said, I thought this would make such a great wood color. And I used this gold airbrush paint to the decor as well as gunmetal air for the silver metal components. And for this barrel I went against the wood grain so I could catch every groove as I moved along and simply applied a careful but heavy layer over the entire thing making sure I watched out and caught any excess pooling. You have to catch the pools within the first moments of them pooling because once they start drying, you have to let them be. So just be careful and be watchful and leave only the amount you want the model to look like when it's dry. Well, when the barrel was dry, I thought it looked great. As you can see though, that the gold and the silver are quite covered. So after I fixed up a little pool that I had missed, which used an even mix of the hardened leather and a fanatic paint called Command Khaki. I went back with the gold to the dwarf symbol and I went back with the gun metal to the barrel hoops and stand and roughly applied that metal again. Not perfectly because I wanted to keep the aged look, so not over all of the brown, just enough to bring out the difference between wood and metal and certainly not symmetrically. 
And finally, I thought it could just use a little more definition. So I very carefully applied another layer of hardened leather, not all over, but just where I thought shadows would fall more heavily and where it looked like it should go. What do you think? Does it work for a wood color? Like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'm not just saying that, like the video. It really helps me. How else will anyone else see it if you don't push it along? Just give it a little push, a little push with a little like. That would be great. And also, thank you very much to the patrons and YouTube members that support this channel. I really appreciate it. And of course, you guys get first dibs on anything that you would like me to do in this paint series. So make sure and if you are a patron or a YouTube member, you let me know. And if you want to become a patron or a YouTube member, be sure to check out the description so that you can find out how to do so. I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Ah, yes. The next paint color that I am working on is going to be this one.